Hello everyone, welcome back to another Adobe Photoshop CC 2018 tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how to do some quick and easy green screening. Now, if you look at this image here that I've got pre-selected, this is a very, very good green screen image because the lighting is great. It's all pretty much uh, uniform and symmetrical. In a lot of cases, you don't get a green screen quite as good as this. But if you're doing still photography, you usually get a better screen than when you're doing videography where there's movement and such. But anyways, I'll show you how to do it on this one with a great background, and then I'll show you another video how to do it if you got a really, you know, you don't have a good green screen or it's poorly lit. I can show you another method, but let's just get right into this one first off. Okay, so what you wanna do here is, I've just got this loaded up, is you wanna drag and drop this, and you wanna create a new layer. So if you're following along, you basically just wanna go ahead and drag and drop right on top of there. Or actually, you know what, just Command or Control J. It's even easier. And I am going to hide the bottom layer and I'm going to work on the top layer because I don't want to work destructively on the image, if you know what I mean. So there, we've got that part done now. The next thing and the most important thing is you want to head up here to your select and then drop it down and select color range. Now, in this case, you want to actually probably have your fuzziness up pretty high, although it's not a big deal because this is very, very well lit. But as you can see here, I'm just going to go ahead and let's, let, let's go with a fuzziness of 100 right in the middle. And then I'm going to hover over part of the green here, and then I'm going to left click on it. And that is going to go ahead and select a color. Now, if you have a bad green screen or the, or the lighting isn't quite uniform, you can hold down the shift key and you're going to see the plus here. So what you can do is you can take like a piece of this section and then you can take, uh, you can go over here and then add another piece over here as such. In this case, it won't make much difference, but if you, again, if you don't have perfect lighting, that's definitely a way to go ahead and, and make some changes. Now I'm going to hit OK, and we're going to see the marching ants. And I'm going to zoom in on purpose, because you're going to see the ants are marching around this little guy with his uh, fishing pole. And we selected a fishing pole on purpose, because I'm going to show you how to do some really detailed touch-up work. But there you go, we've got a green screen, we've got the ants marching. Now the next step in my book is to come up to edit and then just cut it. Boom, it's gone guys. Uh, and there from a distance you have a pretty good green screen. But again, if you look at the edges, the edges are not exactly where you want them to be. Now they're, um, for, for those of you that just wanna do something really, really quick and you don't need to be, you know, bang on this might be sufficient for your needs and you can just stop the tape here but if you want to go a little deeper let's go ahead and look at some touch-ups that I like to use uh, again there's multiple ways to do this um, you can go in and use the select and mask options but in this situation I'm not going to do it I'm gonna go ahead and use the brushes and the erasers and let me show you what I mean so if I just drop down here a little bit I'm gonna select the brush tool and for the brush tool, let's say we want to work on, on his uh, shirt here. Now, the edges of his shirt in almost all the instances are this light bluish color. So I'm going to go ahead and select that color and watch what I do here. So I'm going to just click on my little foreground color. You'll get the eyedropper. And then let's take a representative sample. How does that look? Good. And boom. Now I'm going to hit OK. And I'm going to zoom way the heck in, right into like 30, like way, way, way up close, right on his shirt, right about here. And I mean, this is really detailed work, guys. So again, this is not required for all of you. Some of you don't need to go this far down the rabbit hole. And I'll totally understand. But I'm going to make the brush very, very small. And here's what I do. I kind of just color the edges like this. And what I'm doing is I'm basically getting rid of the green. And now where the green pokes out beyond the shirt, and that's in a lot of spots, um, I'm just going to cover the, just going to go here. And I'll just show you, like, I'm working on his shoulder. And that's probably as far as we'll go. We'll, maybe we'll work a little bit more on, on another part of his body just to, to show you. But then again, so I've added in that blue, and I just go over it a couple times. And then I go down to my eraser tool. And let's see how big this is. It's probably gigantic. So, oh no, it's not bad. So then I, I actually really reduce it down to its smallest size. And then on the outside of the, of the body, I just go in and I do this. So I just get rid of the green manually. This is a very laborious task. And it's actually not too bad if you're doing like, you know, 
stuff for like uh oh that, that piece will need uh, some touch up um if you're doing like for magazine quality i get it this is no doubt you know the quality the the detail you got to put into it also you know i'll, I'll kind of cover around there cover that area this area might i might need to do another brush over it but you know i'll just go real quickly here to show you but this is how you do really detailed green screen work guys um it really does the trick but again there's nothing fast about this but when you see the end result it's just dynamite uh, and then on this one here you'll see like this is part of the shirt i believe so i would take it and i would go back to my coloring my by brush and then i'll brush it in this part here um if if this was going for like a final copy you'll see some green that sort of spilled on his shirt here so i would actually go in and color over some of this parts too like this has a little bit of a green spill um stuff like that guys but again this is how you get right down to the right down to it oops i just deselected my tool so i'm gonna go back to my eraser tool and then i'm gonna do like one final pass over all of this green stuff right here it's still too green for my liking that's too green that one's too green definitely too green too green and so on and so forth i'll have to recolor these pieces uh and we're out here obviously way too green so i will color that up pull them out and presto this is how you get a green screen to be pretty close to perfect now for these pieces here well i got you i'm just going to keep on working uh if this was a final copy i would make this the darker color so i would go ahead and oops i would change the brush so i would go ahead and change the color and i would select like this darker gray color and then i would hit OK, and then I would add that in there. And uh, then I'd go back to my <laughs> brush tool. I think you guys get the point. Ooh, geez, no, 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 no. I hit the wrong brush. And then I would go in here, and I would get rid of that green color casting again and color over that. But when you zoom way out, you'll see, even at this rate, the shoulder is pretty good, while this shoulder is green as hell. Right, so you guys see, this is how you green screen like really, really, really hardcore. In a lot of cases, like I said, you don't need to go that deep, and there are other ways to do it. But if you want it to be perfect, this is how I green screen, guys. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Please leave any questions or comments or any videos you want to see, anything you want to learn. You want to learn how to do something? Chances are I either know it or I'm willing to learn it, and I'm willing to do a video about it. Thanks for watching. See you soon.